Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Easter Skin. You may have noticed that we've swapped seats, we've moved from location to location, because we've got a cold open, but it's a cold open for a VR game. Hello! Um, of course, <laughs> I'm here to torture Will with VR, every opportunity we have. Uh, so if you haven't watched previously, go and watch some of the previous episodes, where you can slowly watch this man turn green with uh, motion sickness. So we're going to do it to him again now with Static Institute of Retention. Yay! <laughs> Press down on the control go, pad there, would me. you, for me? Uh, they don't do it. It's one thing that always annoys me about video games is that if they don't do the screen, they just end up doing like a blue background instead of actually putting the game in. Press back up again. Yeah. So uh, let's take a jump into Static Institute of Retention and let's see what the, what the demo has got to show for us. Going to hit start. Uh, so basically, you've got. I, I know from. I've seen this on PC. This is a Ooh, PC game. I recognize that guy. It was another episode of uh, Crime Watch. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I mean, that's the reason why we report him. <laughs> yep. He's actually a horror room glasses guy. Do you not notice? We did not see the glasses underneath. Ah, uh, from Heroes? Yeah. Uh, warning. This game's going to fuck me up. Yes. Yep. Uh, Grant, it's all clear. Except <laughs> for that. And those. And this guy. And this. So it's all good. It's all clear. I can see that too. <laughs> Fucking break your finger or whatever. <laughs> you can't reach it. You, I know. It's gone now. That was the time I could have could yep, actually grabbed it. Missed your chance. I guess I could slap your head. <laughs> now you get your hand wet. Uh, <laughs> well done. Just the uh, position and angle of the camera since you are in the center of the camera video. The color of the camera video is inverted. Well, duh. Yeah. So, yeah. So, remember um, to reset the camera calibration now while you're looking where you want center to be. Yeah. Is that good for you? Well, that's as good as it's going to be. I mean, we're not inside. Yeah, you're not going to be inside, but that's as good as it's going to be for you. Yes. Okay, another fine. Yep. We'll see what happens. And hit the OK. And then have the people, the developers, tell us we did it wrong. Yep, of Fuck. course. Fuck! That just blinded me. Yep. <laughs> it's so white! Well, that's what happens whenever you've got a screen that close to your face. Well, you know what you're doing. Well, in life when everything you own is white. Is that the joke from something? I, think, yes. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Anyway. So welcome to the Static Institute of Retention. Just looking around here for the people watching at yeah, home. Seeing all the objects. Assuming these are actually multiple inventions and different things you can actually be able to play around with in the game that are available to use. Yeah, what do you call the box that's in Superman? Um, the techno box? The, what, you mean the mother box? Oh, sorry, the mother box. Yeah, oh. that's what you want laying around here. That's probably the closest looking thing here too. <laughs> And we got some tile roll over here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's to wipe your ass afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna try and look around here. Okay. I think there's actually like a it loops the objects, does it not? I think so. <laughs> Although except for the actual one where it says play. Yeah, everything oh. else is uh, faded out. Because if it was right behind me, I'm pretty sure I'd I'd snap my own neck. <laughs> so here we go. Let's jump into the playable box that's available as part of this demo of Static Institute. Have, have you noticed the wee smiley face on the box? Yeah. I feel like that's a, a bad omen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to explode! <laughs> <laughs> it's shield money's one, Johnny! Pop quiz, hotshot. Yeah, <laughs> you do <know> nothing. <laughs> yeah. Project. Project what? Your voice? My attitude? My aura? All of the aura. Giant chicken. I can't help clawing and biting. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, it looks like I've got like a laser pen. Well, look around. Uh, bit of the moon. I don't. Source of the voice. Oh, there he is. All that said, I think we've been here before, don't you? Ooh, you're breaking your wrist the way you're holding it. <laughs> I got nice shoes. Project ID three zero three zero zero four zero. Thirty thirty forty. Yeah. I kind of like the music. Quite mellow. Yeah. Testing Laboratory 101. Yeah, <laughs> you think my wrist is broke before? Yeah. <coughs> huh. Weird. Oh no, that's not a reflection. I thought I was going to see a reflection of myself on the window over there. No. Nah. Well, not a window, because I thought it was a mirror. Oh, yeah. 
you comfortable? Oh no, I'm comfortable. I'm just looking around the room. <laughs> Not gonna try and do anything. <laughs> oh. Yes, do you notice know something? Yeah, I notice the things on the thing are moving around. Yeah, whenever you press different buttons on your controller. Oh. Look at different sides of the controller while you're pressing buttons. I just know I just noticed this thing over here is changing. Yeah. So as you press buttons, different things will happen to the <laughs> Ow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to do that. So have you figured out what you're doing yet? I'm assuming I'm meant to make it look like that in front yeah, of me. Using the controls and the different things yeah so did you notice you had a thing that allowed you to take a snapshot that mm-hmm how does that take a snapshot well look see there were the number of layers in the front of it yeah so it's the same as like do you know if you're getting your eyes tested they put like a single layer in one after another so you need to add those layers to that to make that image to project through right but first somehow you have to get those images that are on those boards yeah i figured out over those yeah side. Check the R2 button to make sure it's not constantly moving. Remember that sometimes it could jam. Oh, yeah. But it's not. Oh, that might be the focuses when they're they're finally in. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Can't take it. Indeed. Right. If I can't get the other one, the that keeps moving that one. The what? Our L2 keeps moving the this orange one here. Uh, that moves, but it's not actually physically moving anything. Mm-hmm. Have you tried doing things? Ah, shit. Sorry, I didn't realize you could use the directional pad. <laughs> Shut up, okay. Ow, what did I just... Did I just bang my head off the microphone? Yes, you did. Fair enough. Probably deserve that, I guess. Okay. Okay, this is starting to be a little bit... Right. Sorry, because some games don't actually use the uh, directional pad. Yep. What the fuck? No, you... No, yeah. do you understand what you're meant to do with that rotational thing that you said wasn't doing anything? Yeah. Right. You know the way that's the big elaborate image at the background? Yeah, this big one up here. Yeah, how about doing one? the simpler ones first instead of trying to go for the most elaborate one first? Yeah, fair enough. Because the simplest one would be. Well, I've already got half of this one over here done, so I might as well do it. Mm hmm. Oh, no, 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 stay. The button may be jamming on you. Oh, yeah. There you go. I think I get that sorted. Well, if you got 40 pounds to spare for a spare new controller, like... Oh, no, not in that sense. Like, just, uh, I don't know. Uh, fuck, I don't Remember know. Remember that you have to unlock your R2 trigger? Yeah. Oh, shit, no, uh, hold on And then... No, I've got the wrong one in. Hmm. That was a big one. The smaller one. See? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. You know what you need to do next? Uh, eject it or take a picture or something. Make it fold back down again. 
Oh yeah, because it'll be jacked. Oh, yeah, there you go. Correct. Yep, this is going to get ticks on me. And now you can use the image on the right hand side by switch. Right, do you know why you had the switch on the right hand side of it? Mm -hmm. That's the way you can rotate that switch. Yeah. Now the next switch. One next to it. Oh, um. That one? Yeah, see the way there's actually different ones for each one of them? Now you can rotate it if you turn the. Uh, no, no, yeah, and now you use a rotate. So that's how you build your layers. Ah, right. Right? Fuck. Now you understand. Right. That's. Uh, this is gonna get. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. So now you have to. What you have to do is now first build each of those three layers that already are. They're on the white sheets. Mm hmm. And then add them together to make the top image. Right. So you get it right. So now I switch back to the other thing. Oh, good. Uh, switch back to one of these blank ones. Like that. To, no, to the up position. The way it actually like you allows you to change the lenses. Oh, the lens. And I... then pick up the other two. And then go back and then put the three, all of them together to make that image. Right. So I've gathered that I need to make all these three images to make that one. Yes. But when I say on the right... Mm -hmm. Where these switches are here, yeah. I'm assuming to keep this one in its top and not on the yellow. That's what I was asking. Uh, it doesn't matter whether or not. I'm assuming because you weren't even on that switch whenever you actually went there in the first place. So it automatically just drops it onto one of those four positions to stop you from oh, accidentally well, overwriting your images. Good. That's the that's ground mixture there. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you want to be sure? Just keep it on the blank one. Yep. So the one on the left only requires the circle. Yeah. Quite a match. No. Oh, there you go. See, it allows you to twist your arm to kind of like get the difference. Yeah. See the way it just drops yeah, it, it just, into whatever it just, one. Yeah, it just assigns it to whatever one. So that's alright. Then that's good. Good or not? Just in case. Mm -hmm. Stay back in. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you, Doctor Pixel Face. So now you have to actually um, construct three layers using that. And then the last layer using the slides that you have. Oh, so I can combine what's what are three ones we got here with the lead with the other one, and that'll make your four, and that'll should fill in the spot. Because right, I've only got one circle on this, so. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't to take you to do this. Oh, well, for me to do this? Uh huh. Um, well, I kind of, I already knew what the context was for what I needed to do, so I, I did it in about 15 minutes. Oh, bitch. Hmm. It was more the fact that I was getting used to having, getting used to actually coordinating the controls in my hand to know which button did which. But once I figured out, that's rotate, that's, uh, that's rotate, I just meant, right, right, those two are rotate, those two are select, those two are that, and then it was actually grand and off to the races. It took me, actually, in fact, it was this bit that took me the longest, because... Yeah, because I'm looking at this, uh, and I can, color, you well, can see you can see I can get the top one, aye. like there. There's a bit of an overlap. Mm -hmm. It's just the, it's, there's a layer that you're not a touch, that you're not turning at the moment, which is making that go, so essentially, no matter what, what you want to do is get that left. Ah! Aye, see that left, that t straight stripe? Yep. You want to get that straight stripe pointing up and down, because no matter what, it's not going to go anywhere other than up and down, because it needs to get that shape. So it's a, if you rotate that, you know, around the other way, keep on going, again, stop there. 
Now it's another layer that you have to turn to get that pattern to match. So if you try and do one of the layer, other layers, as long as you don't turn that straight line. Mm. So rotate that. Yep, yep. Go up a straight, go up to the previous one and rotate that. No, that's a straight line. Ah, well. But the two of those have a straight line. One of them is actually the straight line. One of them is actually just covering the straight line. Motherfucker. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Because yeah, there's two. I'm looking at these. Yeah, those two here. objects both have a straight line in them, but one of them only ha has actually a straight line. That one just like, includes a straight line in its shape. Turn that one two more times. Getting you the square, but it's actually taking over. So you might need to move another one at the top. Third layer. Yes. And now think about the other layer on top of that that'll add the circle and the difference. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So da -da -da, up you go. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh right. Oh, shit. You're probably going to need all four layers in this one, then. Mm. Right. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to need the circle. So it That's be... a bit more like it. Yeah. Uh... And then, do you want to give that one a test? See what pattern it makes? Put look against a wall of some sort that actually doesn't cover well, the water. Well, it's, uh, it's getting some of it. So it's missing your circle in there. Alright, so I need to put it at the back. What I'm thinking is, you know, see the one that's actually in the top right quadrant, the actual quarter circle? Yeah. The, it's blocking. You want it to be around the bottom left corner? Uh, so... That one there. Oh, I need that here. Yeah. You need to have the... You need to keep it clear for the circle to be able to see what it's doing. Hmm. <laughs> Almost be the yin yang symbol. <laughs> Almost. Um, right, this. Fuck, this is a hell of a puzzle. This is a hell of a puzzle. This is definitely a puzzle box. Like, this yeah, that's essentially what it is to get it off your hands. And I feel like eventually I'm just gonna infuriate you fucking playing this. <laughs> no, it's what it's. It was infuriating me whenever I was playing it as well. But it was just the fact that uh, I think I chanced upon. I kept rotating bits until I got chanced upon. I was like, oh shit, yeah, that works. So my biggest concern was actually having that far right corner matching up, which was way you've got it now, and then having the circle at the top. Yeah, that is a circle anyway. So as long as you have a circle on that side as well. There. Let's go figure out how the fuck... Right. Is there anywhere else in the room to actually look around? Oh, you mean like Jack? Any other clues? Oh. No. It would be behind you, like. Oh, Pyramid of the Moon. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, shit. Right, so I get the feeling... Maybe... Uh, not that one. That one has the definite... Maybe going up... The, nah, because then that's... I'll give you four layers. Oh no, I'm saying use uh scan that top right corner for your fourth layer. The top left side what? Up to the right. That. Right. So that'll look very similar to the other poster board sitting next to you. Make that shape. That there. 
Mm -hmm. So, a triangle at the bottom, circle in the top left. Alright, so I'm gonna put the circle in a different place. Sure, I'm gonna put that circle in a different place. Oh, There's wait, one place missing. shit. No, I mean, on the... That's using that. Oh, that's uh, that's what I implied by I have to move the circle to, or move the. Yeah, so I mean just. We'll move the other layers. Uh, oh shit! No, I did it the wrong one. There's so many moving parts to this fucking thing. Mm -hmm. Try that in the top right corner. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Isn't that a dick? That is the dickest of moves. And now you can construct it in that one. Interesting. If you didn't own this controller, I would throw this controller. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yep. It is it is property frustrating. I did the exact same thing for about solid five minutes, trying like, alright, I've got three layers. And then, oh, wait a second, and looked up to the corner and actually saw the actual fourth layer was sitting right there in front of me the entire time. Now it makes it a lot easier to actually kind of pull the two of them to make them match up the way you want. Now it's just a slide and piece puzzle. Yeah, so much easier with four parts! Oh, there we go. <sighs> oh, wait, uh, what are we doing Look over at him. But a tractor's a machine also. As is a toaster. Delightful. She's the closest thing to a human I've ever found. Did, did you fuck her? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. No, I can't actually. <laughs> it keeps trying to track it. <laughs> nope, you can't can... read it. Probably going fucking blind. Jesus Christ, I think I went cockeyed there. Yeah, it's trying to read that little piece of paper. No. Let her read it. Can, can I fuck it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Says a sweetman line. That one's for you, sweetman. R.I.P. So that was it. That's the static institute of retention. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be sick. Um <laughs> So how was that? That was uh nerve wracking. But um, so as a puzzle this, experience, do you that, think it's actually it's, a, good, a it's, good way of using the control pad and... The headset? Uh, you know what, it's a really, really smart way to do it, but I think you can't play it with another person. Because I think at one point I was going to shout at you. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I think you were going to shout at me. <laughs> no man, because I, uh, I knew how frustrating it was, so I wasn't going to raise my voice over it. But it's just the fact that I purposefully let you sit there and try to figure out with the, uh, the fourth, where the fourth layer was for a while. Just for the fact of, like, that's exactly the experience that I had playing this. Motherfucker. <laughs> and so I was, I was calm enough to the point where I realized, like, I know exactly where to point you whenever you need to be pointed. Oh but, um, that was, um, that, that's what, that's what these puzzle games actually, like, uh, static and of retention, each of the different puzzles, each of the different Oh god, that was just boxes. a burp. I felt like I was readjusting no. to some other to reality. equilibrium. The, all of that, again, of, like, uh, manipulation of your hands and stuff to actually be in different boxes. That's what this game is like. Each one of them is a different puzzle like that, where you have to actually solve in different ways to get yourself really... The thing is, that box is legit how you see the control the controller in real life, because you can't see the controller. This is the box. Yeah. And this is just the controls, so you are just... Uh, Immersed. Because you can't see. You're like, that's why I didn't even think about the directional pad, because every game I've played on this, it's always... it's a, Sorry, it's always been the directional pad, not the D-pad. Oh, the, either the analog sticks or the, the ones? analog sticks, or, or it's one. It's always sort of been one or the other because because yeah, you don't think you can you, use you, both you at really the same sort time. of look around more with anything else, yeah. so you don't use that, you know. And that's what threw me off because it's like why right R L two B it's things moving. Why why can't why is the other one not moving? It's moving something. It's tweaking, but it's not actually physically moving. <laughs> yeah. That's what threw me off. That's what made me think you were gonna lose the, lose the plot. Nah, man. It was uh, it was more the fact that I was actually <laughs> uh, I was wondering why you hadn't tried to press those buttons yet. But that's exactly it makes complete utter sense that you're you're trained for years not to use both the analog and the directional pad at the same time, mm. and that's the reason why that happens. But um, yeah, with a uh, uh, the way this game is, like every button and with the head the and with uh, and with the VR headset on, it it does feel like you know. 
they're not there anymore. Oh, everybody else? Yeah, because you're always shooting or kicking. It's always, it's always, you know, it's always these buttons over here, X, circle, triangle, and square, or, you know, R2, shoot, or L2, jump. So, or, like you say, the analogs, they're the directional, you know, the The analog. weird thing is, it's like, um, it's almost reteaching you a layout of a pad, because, uh, well, you didn't think about it, an entire generation below, below us never even use, aren't used to using buttons. They're just touching screens for everything. Fuck you, generation below us. Yeah, well, there's the same generation as we're all millennials, apparently. You have to have been born in 1975 to not be a millennial. God. And I bet, ah, uh, fuck him then. Fuck all those guys. <laughs> so everybody after 75 is a millennial, so we're millennials as well. Mm. Like we, do, we would not badmouth our own people. But, uh, yeah, that's... Oh, no, I know, I could be a self-hitting millennial. <laughs> So uh, that was that was, that was Static Institute of Retention, um, another VR game here on the PlayStation I would, Network. I would actually get that game. I would. I want to go play through the rest of the puzzles. It's it's got me intrigued enough. Actually, can you look to it and see if you can actually like what the it'll say to buy? Just look to one of them and hit X. Right. Yeah. There we go. It's just like, going to open up the PlayStation Store to tell us how much the game is. Because if it's if this game was less than fifteen pounds, you're gonna watch me fucking bin paying. For this. <laughs> actually that would be true you bastard you're gonna have to be looked down a wee bit first because we're actually looking through your eyes in this all right so what is it uh 1.2 gigabytes free free um that can't be right that's weird hit order and pay Is Static actually free? Oh my god, you're gonna make me play this until I'll be sick? Yeah, on every single one of them. Holy crap! Wait! You seen it right here! Wait! Ah, oh, damn it! I thought that said Taser Studios. <laughs> Taser like, face! Taser face! <laughs> Alright, so go down to the bottom there, look down. Um, yeah, return to application. So... Well, obviously it has to download the... No, that's an install. It said installed. It did not. Yeah, it did. It literally said installed because it wouldn't let you download it. But for some reason, it doesn't let you buy any. So maybe you have to buy them all as DLC separately. Ah, oh, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. Maybe it's just the fact that it's a platform that you actually have to add to. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at the store myself. Let me try this one. I'll take a look at the store. Maybe it's not the full game. Maybe it's just per box. Mm -hmm. I'll take a look at this in the future, and uh, we might actually come back to Statics. Uh, I threw retention, and this way, this time I'll actually play one, and you get to do the directing. <laughs> ah, uh, there we go. Fifteen ninety nine for the actual full game. Now, below 15 quid, the next time this game is on sale, I might pick it up. That, that's actually, that's how interested I am in it. Oh, admittedly, there is a number of VR experiences we, I want to play before I get to this one. But um, I would just check each box. No, no, they're all going to be 15 99 because it's actually the price for all for the software now. So, guys, if you actually enjoyed watching uh, Will get sick playing v PlayStation VR, as we usually do here on the channel, uh, make sure to... Bunch of sadists! <laughs> yes, it's always good fun. Uh, make sure to actually hit the uh, subscribe button up in the corner over there. I've got my arm up pointing towards it. It'll allow you to actually get notifications as we do new episodes here on the channel. And uh, over the top of my head, there'll be boxes showing up telling you uh, things for like uh, the PSVR playlist <laughs> and for Cold Open, which are regular episodes here in the series. Up in the corner for the most recent episode that's been available. And over here for a video that's related just to you, for you, for your enjoyment here on the channel. That you can always sit down and watch. And if you need to find me, of course, hit the Passage of Skin up on Google or at Real World Comby to see what he's doing whenever he's not being sick on VR. Yeah, being sick on all our stuff. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. And we will see all you dudes in... The next virtual reality experience. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.